Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenn Gaming Plays Neverwinter Night Shadows of Iron Time Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fenn. In today's Neverwinter Night Shadows of Iron Time Enhanced Edition video, we're in uh, chapter 2. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start it up and we're going to go ahead and do some Nalum hunting. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated and more. So, uh, what happened in the uh, last video was, uh, yeah, we got turned to stone. And we lost our master, and now I have to do is first find Deacon, then go see our master. So I'm going to go ahead and get to Deacon right now. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Deacon, he's turned to stone, just like you were. Now, in the uh, last video, we are lucky we got D-Stone. Yeah, the, uh, what do you call it, master? Yeah, that's what we're calling him. He's also a merchant. Got us free. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, ointment I got from the ruins two videos ago and free dick. And afterwards, we're going to go ahead and talk to the master, see what quest he has in store for us. And here we go on this.
also uh, really quick you want to do is definitely sell anything you got from the previous chapter number two buy about a bunch I do me a bunch of uh, let's see here fire alchemist I'll say two stacks you're gonna definitely gonna need them against these uh, noms if I remember right if you get a certain ring I'll show you how to get it you will be able to use that uh, ring on the uh, noms then you toss the alchemist fire they die in one hit really uh, simple make sure you have enough uh, money for anything else I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself that uh, weapon that two hand plus one it's a real nice one and I'm gonna say this uh, once again uh, if I mentioned from the last video you're free to go anywhere that's the great news you're not restricted to one perimeter so you get to be able to explore the entire ruins which is good there's a slave collar on you but it's like for role-playing value it won't just blow your head up like in other games where we have to figure a way how to actually get rid of it this uh, expansion nope that's the uh, great news I'll uh, go into more detail in the future on that so for now I'm doing right now just uh, getting my uh, shopping in order I have enough bags I'm gonna stock up on two things alchemist fire and some holy water I might uh, do some more uh, holy water yeah you're gonna need uh, the holy water if you're gonna go ahead and make some traps yeah those holy traps will help you out in the undead section change that I believe I think right half the ruins is undead so if you're a cleric congratulations you picked a very perfect class paladin same thing then again they had the holy avenger so put two and two together and you'll see why still i am just gonna go ahead and stock up on so many alchemist fire and yeah i'm gonna definitely make some fire traps too some uh, strong ones since my uh, character's uh, craft traps are really high same thing with the set traps so i decided to hot bar that yeah you're gonna see that during the course of this uh, video other than that this is a decent shop to buy things however i probably say is i hope you did stock up on uh, plus one healing kits otherwise those healing kits will be very expensive from here on out they're uh, great since they're uh, plus 10 however they're still expensive so I'm sure go ahead and just check the whole entire shop for anything else and uh, if you could not uh, what you call it, cure your companion I do not know what to say uh, that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and just look around see what else is there okay I bought myself the plus two weapon I'm still gonna keep the desert's fury for one huge uh, reason yeah, it procs plus two and has fire damage, which is like a double positive against the uh, dead. Now, uh, do pick up some of these tomes and do read them. They're going to be really useful later on. Now, after I'm done looting these books up, which I'm going to hold on to, I'm going to go ahead and go in the next room to speak with Deacon to see what his thoughts are. That was some very good information from uh, Deacon, so I'm going to go into stealth mode. Now, if there's any uh, traps, I'll uh, definitely point it out. Now, uh, some of the stuff will be rusted armor. Some of it will not, so go ahead and try your luck. You have Deacon. He'll identify those items for you at no uh, cost. That's why Brown with me to save some serious cash. So, before we actually do tackle the Nolums, we're going to go ahead and need an item to actually weaken them. Otherwise, this will be a very hard quest to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into stealth. I have a feeling there will be combat up ahead. I'll turn when it's done. Now before the four major rooms, the three winds and the last area, let me explain. You're going to need to do is actually get into the three major winds. You're going to need the three wind items in order to get to the last area. You're going to be facing in this uh, part, at least the zones I'm doing this video, is bugs and spiders, which is not bad. 
And it looks like there's more spiders. Now, for the next part, we're going to go ahead and zone in, ignore the fight between the spiders and the noloms until we get to a separate area to fight these spiders and try getting the next room where the ring is at. Yeah, the ring's the key to defeat these noloms here. So, I'm going to get over here and go ahead and take out these uh, spiders. <laughs> Now, since those spires are clear, except for the ones by the Noloms, the Noloms are probably going to win. There's going to be this Butler Nolom. It is a uh, friendly. However, you do need to kill it for a key. Since I'm a rogue, great news on uh, that is uh, simply I'd be able to uh, pick the uh, lock. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to this Nolom first. Now, in order to get in the sarcophagus, besides this door being uh, freely open, you need to either pick lock it or kill the uh, butler nolum. And that's not too hard. So I'm just going to do the pick locking option. It's uh, locked. Now, remember in each chapter you start in any uh, Neverwinter Nights game or expansion, you need to talk to your companion and say, hey, don't do it. Allow me to uh, pick the lock. This works for uh, premium modules, DLC player made modules too which are wonderful by the way yeah I love you all on that so you want to do is go ahead and just uh, open this uh, tomb up once you are done with that or sarcophagus get the ring so in order to defeat the shield guardians that you saw earlier in this uh, region well uh, guess what you're gonna need to uh, do you need to equip it put the uh, thing in the hot bar and of course when you put the ring in the hot bar put the uh, power there once that happens Y'all set to destroy some uh, noloms. So I'm just gonna show you this right now. So I'm gonna try switch shit out. Put in a nice old hot bar here, which is this one. I'll put the desert theory back eventually. So we're gonna just put the unique powers, which is unlimited. Aim at the uh, nom of your target, except for uh, this one. And alchemist fire will be uh, gone. Alchemist fire, it won't take uh, this one out. However, the shield guardians, they'll definitely be taken out. So I'm just showing you a sample right now. And I'm going to go ahead and destroy this Nolom. I'll return when it's dead. I'll grab the uh, key. Ha! A most palpable touch. Now I have destroyed that Nolom. That was purely optional. We're going to go ahead and just loot his remains. That's the uh, stone key to the uh, what called sarcophagus I just unlocked. We'll ignore that for now. That's just another way around this uh, area. 
So now I got the ring. I'm going to get Deacon over here. Yeah, it's going to be taking some, uh, you know, fun times just to get him there. And we're going to go ahead and kill all 10 noms in this video. We'll actually get this uh, area done before doing the uh, wins. That's my uh, goal of the video is to wipe out all 10 noms. Well, shield guardians and get some optional loot in the uh, process. So I'm going to go ahead and rest up. And there'll be besides, let's see here, noms. There'll also be spiders and bugs. The bugs are the easiest. The noms are the toughest until you use the ring. They'll be extremely easy along with the alchemist fire. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the first two. And here we go on this. That is about quite a few noms dead, so we're going to go ahead and loot some of this up. Now, uh, for a uh, warning, some of the uh, loot here will be rusted, so you do need to be uh, absolutely uh, careful. Otherwise, yeah, you could be carrying around loot that is absolutely 100% worthless, so uh, remember uh, this. Still, I probably advise just loot everything up. If you do need to make multiple trips, go ahead and do so. You may never know, you might get some that's actually uh, worth uh, looting up. So let me uh, go ahead and check this out. All right, some uh, scrolls. Those are worth more than the rusted stuff. That's the only uh, bad part about this uh, area is just the rusted stuff. The great part is you may uh, find something that's really uh, good. I'm going to try to get this organized. That should be a little bit more organized, but oh well. I think I organized myself enough. And let's see. Let's grab uh, this. Let's grab the uh, books. Yeah. Those books will help you out. I'll point that out in a future video if I remember right in my uh, notes. It's in, in the one, the uh, four uh, winds. So here's the uh, thing on uh, what's uh, going on. I'm still clearing out noms. I believe I have two. There's eight to uh, go. So I'm going to go into the next uh, area just to clear them out because the uh, slave master wants us to you know, clear it out. I don't want my head to blow up. Well, not really, but still we'll just RP the point. So we're going in this area. I'm going to show you where the next Nolem is at. If there's any uh, bugs and uh, spiders, I'll uh, definitely take out. And there's one to shield uh, Nolem. So I'm going to go do the same method. Yes, I uh, actually uh, gained a level, so I'm not going to pick Shadow Dancer. I'm trying to remember my uh, notes. If I remember right, it's a uh, rogue, so let me uh, make sure. Uh, let me see here. Last level I did was rogue. I think I got a feat out of that. 
before that memory serves me right I believe I did shell dancer and after that I got one more rogue level and then a uh, champion of Torm. yeah I'm going by my uh, build I made uh, notes on and a quick 1 through 15 uh, you know build notes I uh, did I uh, tested this out on my potato uh, laptop yeah the original game see how this uh, works it does surprisingly uh, work uh, well there's some parts I was actually uh, in tight corners Still, those traps save the uh, day. So I'm going to hit the OK on the uh, Rogue. We're we'll definitely do the same thing. Crap traps, disable, heal, hide, move silently, open locks, persuade, search, set traps, spot, and tumble. And that should uh, do it. We're all set and good to go. If I remember right, I think that is number three on the list. And we're going to go ahead and see if there's any uh, good loot. Uh, let me check the altar out. All right, I'll uh, definitely uh, go ahead and take some uh, cash. I'm going to go up ahead. I'm going to be a little bit sneaky, maybe, or maybe not. Uh, let me go ahead and pick the lock. It shouldn't take uh, long. I think this might be uh, Bug Alley. If it is, I'll be ready for some easy combat. So uh, here we go on this. You're going to see a lot of bugs before the uh, wind temple areas. So I'm going to go ahead and take out number four Nolems. I'm going to open this door, be sneaky about it, and here we go. Hey, yep, I'm having fun taking out these Nolems. They are really worth it. Usually shield noms are really tough and you should be a lot higher. Thanks to this ring, however, and alchemist fire, I'll make it easy uh, work. So we're we'll go over here. I think number five is in this general uh, direction. I have it somewhere in my uh, notes I wrote down from my uh, potato uh, PC laptop. Yeah, I wrote notes on the uh, noms and a whole bunch of other things, including uh, Trap and Janal 2 in chapter one. And here's number five's demise. Now, uh, let me uh, go ahead and check this out. I'm going to loot some of these until I uh, can't carry more uh, weight. Then I'll avoid doing it. Deacon, do me a favor. And Okay, I rolled a one on rusted items. That's uh, nice to know. <laughs> Great. I'm having bad luck. Still, I'm enjoying this game. It's really fun. There's my holy traps. What do you call it? Stuff or a bag. Yeah, my holy uh, traps bag. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of those, and if I have extra cash, I might buy myself another bag and make even more. So we're going to go ahead and go into the next uh, region, or I say zone, and we're going to zone in, and here we go on this. And we did it, so I'm going to go in this general direction. Uh, if I remember right, there'll be some uh, bugs. Yep, there are some bugs. I'm going to take them all out.
Yeah, this uh, flowing city does need pest control. Unfortunately, I'm on the uh, case. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the next Nolem. So we're going to go through uh, this uh, door that is not locked. And it should be another one somewhere. Yep, there it is. We're going to take it out. Yeah, this is getting much easier. I'm having fun just assaulting these uh, Nolems. I'm really having a good time. So this next room, you see the chest, cobwebs, spiders. Yeah, time to exterminate some spiders. I'll return when they're all gone. Ah, oh, crud, I forgot time recording to actually get the chest. Oh, well, so we're just getting out of here. And those uh, spires are uh, pretty uh, mean. So let's uh, go ahead and check for uh, some more uh, fat loot. And that book uh, crumbled to uh, dust. Oh, boy. That's what the theme of this chapter is, really ancient stuff. And I am really overweight on my uh, character. Oh, wow, Dragon Slayer. Yeah, the uh, bastard sword. Oh, that is really uh, good. This is uh, good. So we're going to put that there. Okay, I still got too much weight, so I'm going to have to switch out swords. I'll uh, put the rest of the one somewhere, so yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and access that. I'll remember uh, to do that off screen and the chest too, so let's grab this. Alright, some spells. Now, if you're a caster, that's like gold here. Seriously, it is really gold, so I'm going to go ahead and open this door up. Look for anything else, a small desk. And I think that's a mace. And if I remember right, it's a rusted one. Watch. Yeah, let's see here. Rusted mace. I'm rolling a one. So I'm going to go ahead and fight some more foes up ahead. That wasn't uh, bad at all. I have not been uh, poisoned yet. That is really uh, strange. I guess my uh, fortitude save is up to snuff. Then again, I have a certain uh, item that uh, actually uh, gives me nice saving throws. Well, actually, plus one on universal save throws, which is a good thing. So I'm resting up. I'm going to go ahead and check that other desk here. That's the next thing before I actually go uh, resume my Nolem hunt. So far, uh, so good. I'm hunting them all down. This is really great news. So let me uh, make sure I go in the right direction after I check this uh, bookcase. And nope, I'm not lucky, so I'm going to have to face some spiders. I better just uh, get to the uh, noms at uh, this point. I'll probably do the treasures off screen and show you all what I uh, got in my uh, treasures if they're uh, really worth anything. So I'm going to go ahead and heal Deacon so I do not waste the healing kit. And I'm going to go ahead and open this door up. Let's see here. Let's uh, lockpick it. Alright, it's taking a little uh, bit. There you go. It is now open. So let's see what's inside. Look like I'm ready to go into the next zone. Yep. And this is the place where I exactly want to uh, go. So let's uh, look. I'm going to go uh, this direction. If uh, memory serves me right, I have to go to a different zone. I already covered this zone, I think. Well, they almost look dissimilar. And again, it's a flowing city. So let's uh, check over here. 
Ooh, we're not gonna go in the uh, four doors. Nope, not at all. That's before another video or a future video. And this is the zone where I want to get to next. So as soon as I uh, do zone in, I'm gonna have to face some more uh, foes. And I'm gonna clear them all out. I'll return when they're all uh, gone. was the last of the Nalums and look at that a wishing well well no one's here alive well except for those slavers and guess what I'm gonna loot everything up those are mine I uh, claimed this for me and Deacon let's see what else is in this one I mean come on yeah anything I miss I'll uh, definitely uh, come back sweet the area before uh, starting the uh, wind trials all right miscellaneous small item this is uh good so let's uh, go ahead and check some more and okay, that's a useless. Oh, this is good. And let's see what else. All right, this isn't really uh, good. Another of those mysterious stones. Deacon, go ahead and do your uh, job. Oh, wow. Gem of brightness and gem of uh, seeing or seeking. Something like that. Those are uh, really uh, good. I'll have to remember to uh, use them. So I am basically done. I am going to go back to the uh, merchant who gave us the uh, quest. That's all uh, 10 Nolums. They're all uh, gone. Definitely I'll put timestamps in the videos so this way you know when to uh, find them. So my last thing I'm going to do in this video is actually turn this in, get a nice reward, and that should be uh, all. I'm going to say this right now. It was really fun hunting them down again. I mean, that ring is really powerful. Unfortunately, if I remember right, you're not going to carry that ring with you after you uh, turn this in. I could do is do the temple stuff, but nah, I'm up for the challenge, so if there's any noms I have to face, I'll face them without the uh, ring. I already had enough uh, fun with it, so I'm going to turn this in, then I'll uh, give a recap for uh, today's uh, video, and here we go on some quest experience.
Here's a recap for uh, today's video. I found Deacon, talked to the Slave Master, and want us to kill 10 Nolans, which I uh, definitely did. Found some loot, which was really good. Turn the quest, and that's it. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and start our uh, three wins, which is the uh, first temple I see. Well, to sit for my Never Wear Tonight's Enhanced Edition Shells to Earn Time, Chapter 2, Start Video, the Slurf and Sign Off. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.